Hey guys, today we are tackling the first of a whole heaping lot of videos concerning how to do. First, we must ask ourselves, what is Doom? What is this thing that seems to be so many things? When you think of Doom, you think as much of Sun as you think of Sleep, as you think of High on Fire, Mastodon, maybe even Early Baroness stuff. You would think of Crowbar, Corrosion of Conformity, I Hate God. You would also think of Black Sabbath, anything with like an, a reference to one of the first few heavy, actual heavy bands like Blue Cheer and Mountain and Led Zeppelin and all of that. This genre that we call Doom is obviously really broad and encompasses a lot of different variations and styles and you might have heard of Funeral Doom, of Classic Doom, Stoner Doom, of there's so much like Drone Doom, you name it. There's a whole plethora of Doom genres so let's first ask all of my friends that had the time to, uh, to answer the question what they think Doom actually is. What makes a Doom riff play as heavy as you want it from this genre? What makes Doom Doom? Doom metal is a very intense form of heavy metal. It's about emotion, it's about depression, it's and it's catchy. The riffs are catchy as hell. And for me personally, and as a musician, it's some kind of um, self-healing process. A dream riff to me needs to be big, fat and heavy, um, with dark overtones. Um, yeah, something that gets you in the guts with the sheer weight and power of it. Hi. The music um, is a really big challenge for a sound engineer uh, because uh, it's a really a simple arrangement. We have one, maybe two rhythm guitars and a bass that almost play the same part of uh, rhythm guitars. And uh, it's a big challenge because you have to, with those simple elements uh, build a huge sound, really huge. And uh, a lot of uh, great producers uh, want to test uh, themselves uh, with this kind of uh, feeling. And um, just to name a few, Martin Birch, Steve Albini or uh, Chris Goss. Uh, and it's really uh, amazing to prove yourself that you can build a so great sound and it's awesome if you reach the goal. Thanks. Sorry for my bad English. Bye. Hi, Nick. Doom is a Urgewalt. Doom is a große Emotion. Sie kann tiefste Trauer ausdrücken. Doom ist der Anfang, den Black Sabbath 1969 mit einem eindrucksvollen Riff begonnen haben. Doom ist das Ende, das was übrig bleibt, wenn nichts mehr da ist. Omega Soul sind eine Stoner Metal Band. Unsere Musik lebt vom Groove, von eindrucksvollen Riffs und von vielseitigen Arrangements. In unseren intensivsten Momenten bedienen wir uns beim Doom. Doom Metal is for me the best way to express my anger and feelings about modern society and human mankind. Um, it's also the best way to have fun with my guys, with my band. Um, it's a passion to write music in that way. Um, to me, I guess, a doom riff has the sort of dark or sinister tonality that you'd expect from metal. 
thrash or whatever, but you know, it's, it slowed right down with sort of a bit of uh, groove and swagger, like a sort of a bit more of a rock feel, I guess. But yeah, sort of dark, slow and heavy, and that's doom. So, it's obviously slow, then it's heavy, and it's oftentimes down tuned, and we'd also like to think that it's really, really heavy. I'm putting an emphasis on heavy here. Um, so, yeah. First, there's, obviously there's like the proto-doom bands where we just talk like Blue Cheer and Led Zeppelin and Mountain, all of that. And I personally put Blue Oyster Cold under there as well. Then you have like Black Sabbath. And that's kind of where it starts being difficult to put it all into one kind of genre category without having a bunch of subgenres uh, again, as metal seems to do. Because Black Sabbath is not only considered to be the founding fathers of Doom, but also metal in general. So we get this classic Doom sort of Candlemas esque. Um, Black Sabbath sounding doom that we call classic doom. So anything in that vein would now be classic doom and uh, through the 70s and 80s um, we get the influence from punk rock and from punk rock we get the influences also from hardcore and then we get a thing called sludge. Sludge is a punk rock and hardcore influenced version of that classic doom sound. So what we get then is I Hate God, we get Crowbar, we get Neurosis, we get all of these different people that have the same influences but sound completely different. So what we now have to do is actually in the sludge subgenre of Doom, you know, it's just, it's too much. So for the time being, let's leave it at this. Doom is heavy, it is slow most of the time, it is downtuned most of the time, it, yeah, it's just, it's a vibe really. Doom isn't really defined by anything special. Or any instrumentation, can have keyboards, cannot have keyboards, can have high pitched vocals, can have low pitched vocals, can have growls, can have screams, anything you'd like. It's really just about the real guttural feeling of, fuck, this is heavy. And when you get that, that's Doom. Alright, a very special thank you to all of the people that participated in this video. Thanks to my guys from Rage of Samdi for taking the time out of their busy schedules to answer the not so easy question what Doom is to them. Uh, I hope we get this COVID thing over really soon so we can get back to Dooming together. Thanks to the Gilchrists. Laura and Jamie from Kingwich, we met Kingwich back in 2017, 2016, something of the sort, where we played Malta Doom together, which was a fucking epic show of theirs, and uh, yeah, I had great fun watching them play live. We have since played together twice in Germany, and it's, it's always a good crack. Also, a very heartfelt thank you to Thomas from uh, Omega Soul in Nuremberg. He's just a fantastic guy. They've, the, the, yeah, Omega Soul have stayed here after a show uh, once and we stayed up till 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, they had to leave at 10 so it was it a was rough, rough night uh, for most of them and I don't drink so I was sparkly fresh and clean the next morning after one and a half hours and um, yeah, uh, it was all really, really nice and uh, as soon as we get this over we need to, we need to definitely repeat that. And then a, a very special thank you to Ricardo from Italy. One of my first shows with Rage of Samdi was playing with uh, Void of Sleep and Three Eyes Left. And I think Ricardo played bass on both those bands. So it was Germany and then Switzerland. Two days and uh, great fun. And uh, Ricardo is just a phenomenally nice guy, as you can tell from the video. Thanks again to everybody that participated in the video. Um, it was very nice for me to hear that we have very similar but also pretty different interpretations of what the genre is that we all play. If you guys would like more of these discussions with people 
that are actually in the genre, then leave it down in the comments below. We'll see you next week with how to Classic Doom, an actual tutorial this time, and um, we'll have a look at how to sound suitably Sabbath Candle Massy. Until then, you know where to find much more stuff, click the links below. Um, until then, check out all those bands and projects from all those wonderful people. Um, but before you go, leave me a subscribe and a like and a comment and you know all the YouTube things, you know what to do. Uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye! Boo.